And so last year, we launched uh, AWS Snowball Edge, a capability for you to actually also run local compute on the snow Snowball devices because it has AWS Greengrass integrated into it. That means you can write your own Lambda functions and run them there on the Snowball Edge device. And it's very interesting uh, customers. So for example, the Oregon State University Marine Ships stores the data that they collect uh, from, from their experiments. Uh, Rio Tinto is a large Australian mining company that runs automated, massive automated machinery trucks um, in, in their dangerous mines and actually collect data from that. And Boeing's in situa commercial drones also collect data from very remote locations. So for all of those, it's important to actually be able to collect that data locally, maybe do some pre-processing on it using these Lambda functions, and then send the devices back to AWS. However, what we've heard from our customers is that while it's interesting to write your own Lambda functions, it was very important for them to also be able to run commercial software um, on, on, on the device. And so with that, I'm happy to announce today uh, Amazon EC2 on Snowball Edge, which means that you can run your local um, EC2 instances on the Edge device itself. Yeah, so this is a new instance type family called SBE1, instance type for Snowball Edge. Uh, these instances can have a single CPU with a gig of memory or all the way up to 24 vCPUs with 32 gig of memory. And so it's all designed for pre-processing of data. Yeah, and whether that is compressing or whether that is machine learning on the device itself or any type of data collection application that you would want to run on the device itself.